guys, how are you? Um, you know, I usually, I usually, uh, you know, when I uh, get something uh, from God, I I share it with the with all of you in my walk uh, and Facebook. Uh, but this time I'm gonna be late, so I. But still, I want I don't want to forget about it. I want to share it with you guys, right? So I'm just gonna record myself, and you know, it's it's good for me too. So. Um, Time will pass, right? And then after that, you know, I want to remember what I've, uh, what I've learned and what God has told me and taught me. So I want to remember this day, and at the same time, I want to be fruitful. I want to be, uh, I want to be productive as well. So I want to share it with you guys, right? So, anyways, this uh, morning, uh, I was doing my cleaning, right? I was uh, on my uh, second job. I was doing uh, I was doing my cleaning, and um, I was I was asking myself, right? I was like, man, how how is God like uh, Jesus? How is Christ? Uh, so, because it says in the Bible that uh, Jesus Christ is the husband of his bride, right? Uh, so. I was thinking about that while I was uh, listening to, uh, to to preaching, right? So while I was uh, doing my cleaning, I was uh, listening to preaching, you know. So, which I always do, and um, so I was thinking like that while I was listening to uh, this preaching, right? And then thoughts comes to my mind, like so: if he is the husband of the bride, right? He must be very, very, you know, like he must be very, very manly. Meaning, because you know, it says in the Bible that uh, Christ died. Christ died for uh, his bride. You know, and um, so in the Bible says, uh, in the Bible it says too that um, we are children to those who believe in Christ and um, uh, continue to believe in Him. We are the children of God, right? And as a church, and we are the church. So, as a church, right? The Bible says the church is the bride of Christ. So basically, we are being prepared uh, to meet uh, Jesus Christ uh, on that great day, right? So, if we are the children of God, if no, if we are the children of God, and the children of God is the bride of Christ that's being prepared to meet Him, then He is our husband, right? So, my point is this, we, as children of God, is the bride of Christ. So now, here's my thing. So, the Bible says that husband loves, husband love your wife and do not, do not be harsh with them, uh, with her. So. Husband, love your wives, right? And then the bride, the, the, the wife, must submit to her husband, right? So all believers know that, all Christians know that. So, husband, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. When you say love, that basically, basically you're really, you're really dying for her. You know what I mean? Because life is not perfect, right? And we are very... We are imperfect people, and uh, it's not gonna be a smooth walk, you know. So there's gonna be a lot of obstacles too, right? But my point is, all husbands should love their wives and do not be harsh with them. Now, the wife doesn't matter what it, what it is. The wife must submit to her husband, right? That's what it says in the Bible. So it's not coming from me. It's it's just you know, it's plain. Uh, that it is coming from the Bible and it is a command, right? So, wife must submit to her husband. Here's my thing, right? So, I was, you know, I was thinking about that, like, wow, he's, he's, you know, because I'm a husband, right? And yes, you know, we live in a fallen world and we live with, uh, I'm not saying my wife is uh, not perfect. Well, she's perfect in any way. 
but you know what I mean as a human uh, being like we are we are not perfect you know what I mean so my point is this that's yeah, my point is this right so my 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 question at the time was so I am a husband right and you know like yeah it's not it's not uh, a perfect world so we have to be patient with, with each other we have to bear each other and uh, we have to understand each other it's it's all those things right so my question was like wow you know uh, Christ must be really really like uh, manly because you know why like you know even though he's fully God he's fully man as well right and and ultimately at the end he died he died for he died for her uh, he, sorry he died for his uh, uh, bride to be right so while I was thinking that I came to uh, the conclusion of so we are to be like him right in this world we are to be like him so when when Christ you know the son of man when Christ the Lord died for us right as uh, uh, and to whoever believes in him and have faith in him will be will not, not just be will be saved but will be or will have the right to be child of God and now that we are child uh, children of God we are the bride that that is being prepared to meet him at the end of days right so if we are the bride then we children of God as a church right because we are we are called the church a church and the bride right so if we are the church the children of God if we are the church and we are the bride right then we must in you know we must submit to him however uh, hard it is we must submit to him right so my question got answered right there and then and there's like tears in my heart too that wow you know what I mean like I just got that wisdom again that uh, so right now you know we have this thing in our hearts that you know we get stuck by oh we are being a child of God now and this and that we're just uh, being commanded to do this do that it's not even about that well it is that but there's more to that you know uh, so my thing is this so as Christ died for his church as, di uh, as Christ died for his bride right as died Christ for his beloved we as church children of God church and a bride must submit to him that's my point so you know it's really really refreshing and encouraging man to to hear from God and to teach him in a way that we don't even know you know and we just we just like that you know and I'm so happy and grateful that you know that we belong to him so you know I just want to share that with you guys and also I want to I want to record this so that when time comes you know I can go back to it right and you know listen to it and you know see and feel how I feel at the time you know what I mean because uh, you know we're very forgetful right <laughs> you know and uh, sometimes we need uh, we need a reminder so that's why you know we always have to read the Bible every day to be reminded of how Christ uh, died for us and saved us and all these things right so yeah I just want to record that and I just want to I just want to save this so that uh, when time comes I can be able to go back and uh, listen to it and see and hear the wisdom that God gave me that uh, particular day and time right so I'm gonna repeat myself so husband love your wives wife must submit to her husband so as Christ died for us so we children of God as the church and as a bride we must submit to him isn't that wonderful so I just want to share that with you guys and uh, hopefully it, it encourage you and man I can't wait to have more uh, wisdom from him and more revelation from him as I grow old and uh, you know I just I just want to love him you know 
you know, I'm changed, you know what I mean? And uh, no one can change me, no one. But uh, he did. And even me, I was still, I am still amazed by what he did and what he's doing and what he will do. So just keep praying, you believers. And uh, man, I uh, pray and hope that uh, you will have an encounter with God, the living God. You know, because nothing can compare to him. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right. I'll see you soon.